Hope you enjoyed the fun time lapse and huge congrats to Magnus. Hitting 1 million subscribers as a rock climbing oriented channel is insane. I find it especially insane since I've been also playing the YouTube game for a long time. Here's my breakdown on what makes Magnus so unstoppable. Let's quickly go through the attributes that are mostly unique to Magnus and can't be replicated by most of us. First, Magnus is an elite climber. People love watching athletes like Magnus doing superhuman moves. Super obvious, I know, and of course it's well deserved. While we spend the first 20 years of our lives studying math and physics, Magnus spends the first 20 years of his life on climbing and fitness. Second, Magnus is a handsome guy with supreme body physique. People love watching good looking people, and I don't think any more explanation is needed for this point. Now let's go through some points where Magnus did really well that we can all learn from. Magnus understands YouTube, or in more general terms, the art of capturing attention really really well. First, all his video titles and thumbnails are correctly done. 
And what do I mean by correctly? Just imagine if you don't know Magnus at all, and you see his title and thumbnail for the first time, will they interest you enough to click the video? If the answer is yes, that means the title and thumbnail are done correctly. I could break down each of his titles and thumbnails one by one and talk for hours, but for the sake of keeping this video short, let me just pick out one general point. There are rarely any eyes, mys, or magnuses in the titles because eyes, mys, and magnuses mean nothing to someone who doesn't know him. In theory, his channel has already been so big that he can assume most people have known him already, so he could be lazy and just put eyes and mys in the titles and still get views, but he stays humble and is willing to make an extra effort to think of something interesting for the titles instead of using eyes, mys, and magnuses. Second, Magnus is not afraid of trying something that hasn't been done before. He pioneered the route of occasionally dipping into other relevant niches such as gymnastics, ninja warrior, and the military as a rock climber. I'm sure he's not the first one that came up with this idea, but no one dares to execute it because we're all afraid of rock climbing fundamentalists shouting something like sell out or this is a circus at us. However, I saw so many people from other niches commenting, I started rock climbing because of Magnus. I would argue that Magnus has done 100 times better to promote the sport of climbing than any rock climbing fundamentalist. I could go on and on to break down his video editing, his personality, and his content strategy, but I know you guys are mostly here for the fitness content instead of YouTube theories, so that's it for now. Again, congratulations Magnus, you are an inspiration. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my website, geekclimber.com. See you in the next video.